guys let's look at preparation of insoluble salts specifically we look at barium sulfate as an example of an insoluble salt that you are going to use to uh, that you are going to use as an example for this uh, lesson now you should know that for you to prepare barium sulfate the most method is the method of preparation is precipitation okay method of preparation is precipi precipitation okay now look at this the equation the format is for you to prepare an insoluble salt you need to have a soluble solution reacting with another soluble solution to form an insoluble solution and a soluble solution so you have three soluble solutions and one insoluble mostly mostly when pre preparing when preparing carbon uh, i mean barium sulfate or an insoluble salt um nitrate nitrate solution is there and sodium solution also uh, is supposed to be there so when it comes to reactants reactants in preparation of barium barium sulfate we have we need to have a nitrate so we have barium nitrate barium nitrate and an insoluble i mean a, a, a soluble solution usually usually sodium sulfate because remember we have barium sulfate so one of the reactants should have a sulfate okay and the other one should have a barium so usually barium nitrate and sodium uh, sodium sulfate now you can use sodium sulfate or sulfuric acid h2so4 or sulfuric acid okay or sulfuric acid because there we have sulfate here now what to be formed will be barium sulfate barium sulfate and sodium nitrate mm. and sodium ni nitrate to write this one as um, as a chemical equation it will be barium nitrate i mean uh, yes barium nitrate which will be barium has a variance of two because it's in group two so it will be barium nitrate nitrate is a radical and has a valence of one so barium the two will be this side okay reacting with the sodium sulfate sodium is in group one sulfate is a radical so the two will be here so it's a radical with a variance of two variance of two so the two will be here and it will be like this sodium sulfate to form barium sulfate barium sulfate also has a variance of two so it's b a s o four and sodium nitrate sodium nitrate now um just n a n o three because sodium is in group one and it has a variance of one nitrate has a valence of one as well now when it comes to state symbols since these are all also sol solutions this will be in aquas this also aquas but barium sulfate will be a solid and this one will be in aqu aquas form now the ionic equation ionic equation will be for you to produce barium sulfate you know we use positive uh, cations and anions 
So for you to come up with barium sulfate, we are using barium 2 plus, okay? Which is reacting, let's balance it first um, before we even proceed. Okay, let's check if it's balanced. Barium, we have one. This side, you have one. Nitrate, no, ni nitrogen two. Nitrogen here. Um, nitrogen this side, one. So we are going to put a two here so that also nitrogen balances. Then the oxygen, you have two times three, six plus four, ten. Here you have four, two times three, six. So we also have ten oxygen. Nitro, uh, uh, sodium 2 sodium because of this coefficient here 2 sulfur 1 sulfur 1 so now it is balanced we can proceed so barium has a valence of 2 which is in aqueous barium nitrate then also we are using barium and sulfate to come up with barium sulfate so is, is, this one is going to be is going to be SO4 2 minus which is aquas to form barium sulfate okay which is a solid so this is the ionic equation if at all they ask you to come up with the ionic equation okay now <laughs> method of preparation method of preparation method of preparation remember i said that you, you prepare this one using precipitation now if the question comes that um, um how do you prepare bariums a dry um how can you obtain a pure dry sample of barium sulfate a pure dry sample of barium sulfate now the method is just the same for all insoluble salts number one what you need to do is you mix mix the reactants which is barium barium nitrate solution barium nitrate solution with sodium sulfate solution sodium sulfate what solution okay so um, uh, you mix this in a beaker in a beaker then second after mixing them in a beaker secondly a white precipitate a white ppt which is precipitate of indicating barium so of barium sulfate which is b a s o 4 barium sulfate will form okay barium sulfate forms three third step is allow this precipitate that is formed to settle so allow the ppt precipitate to settle okay allow the precipitate to settle okay allow the precipitate to settle number four what you need to do the, uh, after allowing the precipitate to settle uh, it's simple it's just to filter now filter off the precipitate the ppt the precipitate not only filtering off but also make sure you wash and wash the precipitate wash it with distilled water Dis with distilled water why are you washing the precipitate with distilled water to 
in order to remove to remove any amount any amount of sodium nitrate sodium any amount of sodium nitrate okay left listen look at the product here when they react when barium nitrate and sodium sulfate react but we on we are only interested in this but sodium nitrate is also produced so this one is white precipitate this is the white precipitate that is formed sodium nitrate is a solution so you clean this to remove any trace of sodium nitrate that is the fourth step now after cleaning uh, after washing what do you do the fifth step you dry dry the precipitate ppt dry the precipitate on the filter paper on the filter paper after drying the precipitate on the filter paper then you've done the sixth and the last step will be after drying it a pure sample in fact a pure dry sample according to the question a pure dry sample of barium barium sulfate forms so this is the this is the method of preparation this is the actual process so let's look at the question from exam so we can answer a number of questions from the exam based on what we've covered uh based on what we've covered so far we can look at a number of examination uh questions okay so so look at this examination question which says barium sulfate is an insoluble salt true describe briefly how a pure dry sample of barium sulfate can be prepared using sodium sulfate using sodium sulfate as one of the reagents using sodium sulfate as one of the reagents this is the answer and it's five marks so this is the answer like uh, i've explained earlier on the method is that no you should know the method which is pre precipitation and you should know the reagents and they're saying using barium using sodium sulfate sodium sulfate as one of the reactants sodium sulfate then the other reactant will be barium nitrate okay so they said they've said using sodium sulfate because you can also use sulfuric acid like i said here you can also use sulfuric acid which is h h2 so4 so4 as the form chemical formula for sulfuric acid so this is the process mix the mix the reactants barium nitrate and uh, uh with silver sulfate in a beaker after mixing them a white precipitate of barium sulfate will form okay then allow the precipitate to settle then filter off the precipitate and wash it with distilled water why are you washing it with distilled water to remove any amount of sodium nitrate left okay then dry sample precipitate will form on the uh, i mean you no, no, dry sample you dry the precipitate on the filter paper after this then the final step is um that is that the barium sulfate will form a pure dry sample of barium sulfate will form that's the answer to this question let's look at another similar question from a different uh, paper